So Richard Riappel returned to the ring last weekend against Dylan Brion. And this was his second outing this year. And it was an impressive performance against, realistically, a nobody, to be honest. Even though this guy was a, a two-time European world title challenger. Because to me, this guy's pretty much already um, fought against two previous opponents for the world title and come up short. Anyhow, um, some of you guys may say that oh, this is probably me being a little bit savage to this opponent. But he's pretty much a nobody. Um, and it was just a, 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 an outing for uh, Richard Riappel just to pretty much get some rounds and just to become sharp, really, because obviously he's bigger and better test and tougher test are going to come next year. Um, the stoppage itself um, was a was it was an excellent um, KO, uh, and I feel as if the stoppage was about right. Uh, just shy to the, the stoppage, um, the Chiliot react ball and um, put him down and um, followed through with a right hand with a left hook as well. Uh, the right hand pretty much dropped his opponent instantly and then the left hook was a little bit of a, an illegal shot but um, the referee didn't jump in in time and so pretty much he landed it. Um, but Dylan obviously did well to get back to his feet but just, you know what I mean, you could see that it was only a matter of time and it was because obviously Richard Riappel went straight to him, landed another right hand and a hook and then the, the corner threw in his howl and that was that. Now as I said earlier, there's going to be bigger and better and tougher fights for Richard Riappel. Um, there is talks before this fight suggesting that if he came through this fight unscathed that he will potentially should be as well mandatory for the winner between CBS which is... Um, Chris Billum Smith uh, versus Masternek as well, which this fight should be happening um, early next uh, next month. Um, so hopefully he should get the winner and maybe have an opportunity for a world title shot. And this will be his first world title shot as well. Um, so hopefully I reckon he'll be up for that. I would say that Richard Riappel potentially is the biggest, hardest hitting uh, cruiserweight currently. Um, but there are some good um, cruiserweights out there who I feel that um, maybe he should probably stay clear of at this particular moment in time in his career. Um, and the only reason why I say that is because um, just for skill, really. Uh, Richard Riappel is, as I said, is a big hitter, big puncher. But sometimes in, in boxing, as we've seen with the likes of Deontay Wilder, it's not all about punching power. You do need a little bit of skill behind it. And he is a good boxer, but a bit of a lethargic and slow boxer. First cup, that fight that he had pretty much only lasted a round and a bit. Um, so you couldn't really see much, but he was a slow start. And someone, you know I mean, against someone like, let's say, a Jaya Pattaya or a Lawrence Coley, these guys would potentially, maybe not a Lawrence Coley, but Jaya Pattaya would lead a quicker pace from the get-go. Um, and I feel that someone like Jaya Pattaya, his movement would cause um, Richard Riappel a lot of troubles. Um, so yeah, as I said, hopefully his next fight will be against Chris Billum Smith. Um, but if he can't get the likes of Chris Billum Smith into the ring, then what about the WBC and the WBA challenger? Um, sorry, world titles champions. Could he potentially bench alarm maybe make a deal with one of these two champions so that Richard Riappel could have an opportunity at a world title and if he can't get a world title shot then there's some good British um, domestic like dust ups for him there um, again Jordan Thompson Ellis Sorrow Isaac Chamberlain that'd be another good fight um, and maybe even Lawrence Coley as well so there is some good opposition there some Brit good British domestic clashes which are there for him it just depends on what um, Sky and Boxer choose to do with Richard Riappel but yeah let me know your thoughts um, routine performance from Richard Riappel good stoppage added it to his highlight reels um, but yeah let me know your thoughts and as always guys please subscribe bless